Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to show you how to build this magical mushroom mansion or manor house. It has a medieval fairy tale style and is complete with a mushroom roof. So let's get building. For this build you'll need the materials on your screen now. Here is the layout for today's build. You can see the walls marked in in light grey and white, locations of posts in dark grey and the post for the veranda in black. Start the build by building 5 high on each of the posts of the main part of the build. So all the posts excluding the one for the patio area. Now that that's done, connect each of the posts with a beam. All of this is built using strip spruce logs. And now continuing with the strip spruce logs, Come out from each of the joins in the posts and beams like this. Here's what we have so far from the front and from above. For the main walls I've marked in some spaces for windows these are all two blocks high and one block wide and I have them dotted about in the gaps between the posts. Now if your windows aren't in exactly the same spaces as mine, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy with where they are. Now start filling in the walls with mossy cobble, cobble and moss blocks. Don't forget to leave a gap for the door down here in this corner on the front. Here's how it looks from the outside. You can break any placeholder blocks for the windows now. Once you've done that, Come inside the build and you'll see there are gaps in the walls. Now you can fill these in with a mixture of the mossy cobble cobble and moss. Or since you're only going to see it from the inside, you can just use cobble to save on resources. Here's how it looks from the front and from above. Now you can add white stained glass to each of the windows. You can use panes here if you'd like. But I'm using blocks as we're adding decoration around these windows so it doesn't matter that it's flush with the wall. Now each little alcove here between the posts gets the same decoration. So we'll put in two upside down stairs like this. Two above it with a slab connecting it like this. And then in front of the posts we'll need to add a decoration with two fences, some iron bars and mossy stone brick walls. When you're doing these corners here, you'll notice you won't be able to put a stair right in the corner. So instead, just have 
three spruce slabs like this. Now to add some decorations to the windows. This is done quite simply with a spruce slab and a spruce trapdoor with a lantern hanging off the trapdoor. And you can repeat this decoration on all the windows for this lower story. Once you've done that, it's time to decorate the door. Use dark oak fences and dark oak slabs, as well as a podzol block to create a little archway over the door. You can plant a mushroom, and I'm using a dark oak door here as well. For some more details on the lower story, create a small little veranda over the front using dark oak and mushroom blocks, red mushroom blocks here. Create a frame like this using the dark oak. Then place your mushroom block to create a little covering over here and then finish up with some more slabs like this. As one last detail before we work on the next story, add some stone buttons to just the corner uh, posts and beams that stick out like this. So I'm skipping this center one and adding them here. And then I'm skipping all of these and going right to the end. For the next section of the build, the second story, build up another five high on each post. and then connect each post with a cross beam. Now there are three different designs to fill in the panels between each post, so we'll be doing them one by one. Let's start with the first design. For this, come one back with sandstone, red concrete in the center, and then some more smooth sandstone and then create the window frame. Use white stained glass for the window like this. And now we'll add some details. Spruce stairs, a slab in the center, and then barrels either side. A pot with a mushroom and some window shutter banners. To create these window shutter banners, check out my banner tutorial in the description. So this design goes on these two windows here in the front section of the build. Like this. It also goes in the center of this section of the build here. And again, in the two center ones on the back. So this one here and this one here. All right, on to the next panel design. The next design doesn't have a window, but rather has a planter box. So to do this, create a base one back using smooth sandstone and two red mushroom blocks. Then just fill in the rest of the wall with the smooth sandstone. Place spruce stairs in all of the corners of the alcove and a spruce slab at the top. And then create a planter with a barrel and two azalea leaves. These go either side of the windows in the back center. And they also go in these sections on the side of the front part of the build. Now to do this, you might need to break these blocks here that that um one smooth sandstone block but you'll see you can't see the red mushroom block from this side because there's a barrel there This final design will be used for the remainder of the windows. Start by filling in the wall, leaving the space for a window like this. 
and then put red mushroom blocks along the top. Now spruce stairs in each corner and slabs between them. White stained glass and finally some more window shutter banners. Now you can go ahead and fill in the remaining gaps like this. Here's how it should all look so far. By having the three different panel designs, you get a great variety of detail and it's still quite simple to build. Now to add some more decoration, grab some mossy stone brick walls, dark oak trapdoors, moss blocks, azalea and some rooted dirt. If you don't have rooted dirt, you can easily just replace this with some coarse dirt. So we're going to place the mossy stone brick walls on each corner like this. Along this back wall, we'll leave one block spaces or well, one post spaces between each mossy uh, stone brick wall. Like this. And then just continue around placing them on the corners. I'm only building four blocks high here because the roof is going to be sitting at this level. Once you've made it all the way around the bill with the mossy stone brick walls, add some planters to the remaining gaps in front of each post by placing the dirt, surrounded by dark oak trapdoors, with an azalea on top, and then the moss block makes the azalea look like a nice tall topiary. Here's how it should all look. Before we can add in the roof, we need to add the gable faces. So to do this, use mushroom stem blocks and build up in groups of two on this front section here. Like this, you'll notice I'm one in from either side with the posts. And then I'll break a three high window out of the mushroom blocks. I like to do this instead of just leaving the gap straight away because then you get this interior mushroom texture. To finish it off, place strip spruce logs one block apart like this with buttons in between. For the next gable, come to the center of this wall here and build up two sets of two like this. And then some strip spruce logs across the front with some more buttons. For the next set of gables, come round to the back and we're going to be using these two layouts again. First the smaller ones on either side like this and one on this side. And we'll have a larger one in the center here, leaving a one block, uh, a, a one space gap. Again, going up in groups of two. Now you can more clearly see that there is a one section gap between these three gables. For the final gables, the end gables, will start in a similar way, one block in from the edge going up in a group of two like this. And then we'll continue up going in groups of three. For the window on this section, come two blocks up and break three high. Finish with the stripped oak logs and buttons. 
Now just one gable to go. Add in the window and the spruce log details. Here's how it should all look so far. You should have a total of seven gables. For the edging on the roof, we're going to be using dark oak blocks as well as some spruce logs. So start by going with a dark oak stair, then a block of planks, and then a stair and a stair underneath. And you'll continue up with this pattern till you reach the top of the roof. When you get to the top here, place your stair facing forwards and then come along like this with the spruce blocks and then place a dark oak slab on top. And now for the other side. You can do the same thing for this back gable here. Notice how the spruce logs stick out one from the edge of the roof. The smaller gables are done similarly, except we'll start right on top of the strip spruce log. A stair facing forward here. And finish off with some spruce logs. Do this on each of the small gables. For the larger gables, the edge of the roof is pretty much the same, except we'll go up a step with one block and a stair. And then we'll need to go up two blocks and a stair each time, because the steps for the gable face are taller. So a one block step. And then the rest from here are two block steps. And like before, finish with some spruce logs and a dark oak slab. Here's how the roof is looking. We're just about ready to fill it in with the red mushroom blocks. Before we begin with the red though, we'll add a few more beams and connecting sections with the dark oak and spruce. Starting with a big long one across the top here. It should line up perfectly. Now using the spruce logs, build back six from this gable here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have a total length for this beam here of nine. Then use some dark oak planks coming up on the diagonal and build up two. And it should connect on a diagonal to this big beam here. Now for this lower gable here, build back one more with spruce logs and then come up on the diagonal three and then another set of three. And it should again meet up with this big beam here like this. At the back, 
the smaller gables should do the same thing so come one back with the spruce log and three up twice on the diagonal with the dark oak planks and now for this larger one you just want to build two back with the spruce logs like this and then come two up on the diagonal with the dark oak planks. Now the roof is sectioned off and we can fill in the roof in sections. Now the roof is the largest section of this build and we'll be filling it in with moss blocks, red mushroom blocks, red concrete and red wool. But it's important when you're doing this to take your time and you can always go back and change things if you're not happy with how they look. So for this we will start by creating an edge with some dark oak stairs and then work your way up using a mixture of the red blocks and the moss blocks and connecting it to this gable here. So you see for this layer I don't need to do any turning of the blocks, it'll just connect up nicely. For this section here, since it's one block back, I will need to add a curved around the corner block like this. And in fact, I'm going to use a bit of moss. So you can see that connects up nice and flush. And then I'll just continue up the roof. That's one panel of the roof finished. The next section of the roof is this larger one here. Build two across on the base with dark oak stairs so it doesn't quite reach here. And then continue with your mixture of blocks. Keeping in mind that this will go up in steps of two, three, three, three. And this roof here continues up in steps of two. Now for the final part of this roof, don't have to worry about connecting it up to the other one. Looking good so far. The remainder of the roof you can fill in in much the same way. 
keeping in mind that you can always go back in and change the randomization of the blocks as you go, or if you're building it in creative, you might find it helpful to build the whole roof out of one block and then replace it afterwards. How you build this really is up to you. We now need to add some decorations to this roof, starting with the windows for the gable. We're adding a little planter with podzol and dark oak trapdoors, with a little red mushroom, plus some window shutters. Spruce trapdoors work perfectly for this. Then hang using a chain and a grindstone, some lanterns in front of the window, like this. Each window gets this similar treatment. Where the window is two blocks above, you'll need to place a trapdoor underneath the planter. I like to hang my lanterns at different heights for each window. It adds some, a small amount of character to the, to the build, which is really worthwhile.
Now I'm going to hang some lanterns using grindstones and chains from the smaller gables. Again at different heights. Continuing with the lanterns, make sure you have these dark oak stairs placed here because we'll hang some lanterns from them at different heights. So these lanterns are in the four corners as well as here and here. For an extra mushroomy detail, I'm going to add some small mushrooms coming off of the roof. To do this, create a stem with the mushroom stem blocks and the surround with the red mushroom blocks like this. So I'll have one here and I think I'll have one more here as well. Once you've done that, grab out some greenery. I'm using red tulips, poppies and roses, white tulips, lily of the valley and oxide daisy as well as small and large ferns and place these on each of the mossy blocks. And doing this I think it's nice to have a green, a white and a red for each section. Let's put it in a beautiful setting. So here we have the magical mushroom mansion. I've put mine in a dark oak forest and surrounded it with wheat fields, flowing streams, a little swing, as well as plenty of mushrooms. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Head on over to my discord to share a picture of your build if you'd like and check out my Patreon for more building ideas and to build on my server. Please subscribe and I'll see you in another tutorial.